It's Radio's 1809, 1103, 2023. Instead of having Soul Show, I want to say a big thank you for joining me this evening. It's always amazing to have you on the show. Trust me, uh, we missed Lady B today. Unfortunately, she can't be with us today. Uh, due to some unforeseen circumstances. But I'm here to give you some amazing vibes and amazing content here on Dubbin' Radio. Instead of having social, as you know, talking about mature dating. And also engaging you amazing listeners as well hope you're having a great uh, weekend as well i want to say a big thank you for joining me this evening and if it's your first time uh, tuning in this evening as well welcome to the dominar and Raider family it's always amazing to have you on the show we all spread love and vibes here on dominar radio as you know the show is always interactive so you can always be part of the show on 074 956 368 you can call us direct on that number send a text or a whatsapp as well yes to today's topic oh my gosh i mean I posted this uh, topic uh, earlier today. I've had so much messages via DMs, via WhatsApp. People saying, oh my gosh, what is it that women, men actually look at for in women? So that's today's topic. If you don't know, the topic is what do men look out for in a woman? Do you know what? I, I, I would say it's not that complicated. Because I think we're going to do the one, you know, the, we're going to switch it over and look at what women want. You know what women look out for in a man but today we're going to be talking from the men's perspective because obviously dubby nine is here going to be give you a bit of insight as well and yeah my gentlemen you know my, my mates my brothers out there don't worry i'm not going to be giving out too much information maybe maybe not but ladies i would advise you to take your pen and paper and get ready to discover how and what men look out for in women especially ones they want to create something special with or even get into a relationship with, to, with as well but i mean before i actually get onto that as well but we look at today we look at what the women out there today you know again i'm, I'm this, today is an open type of discussion I and mean, i want to i want to have engagement for you lovely listeners as well the number the phone lines are open right away they're open right away there's no time to hold back on anything so number is 074 956 368 double nine you call me direct on that number as you know as well but i mean before i actually get into that and, and, and tell you a bit more about how men think again it's not you know uh you know it's not that it, the list is not like this is it do you know what i mean it's not uh, definitive and say that that's it there's nothing else beyond beyond that again it, it can be from one perspective but i think on a general i would give you possibly about 90 percent how men you know think or what they actually look for uh, in a woman but before i actually get into that as i mentioned earlier we look at social media now we look at a lot of things out there you know causing a lot of confusion people don't even understand you know what dating is people going to it for different reasons i mean we'll talk about different scenarios as well i mean the ones that still you know controversial for me was um where we discussed where women had gone on a date with a guy uh, they've been speaking uh to, you know on on, on the phone for about two weeks you know just chatting and all of that and they decided to meet you know face to face first time um you know on a date which which particularly you know it, it didn't go too bad you know he went quite he went quite well and the interview the guy was looking forward to um seeing her again but unfortunately i i, I say unfortunately because the next day the girl sent him a message and says you know what i want to go to a club you know send me money i'm like i mean this is the guy narrating the story to us i'm like oh my gosh that's is that what's happening out there now but i, I promise you this is not what men uh, look for in a woman they want to spend some time or even create something special with as well i'm not saying to ask your man for money or whenever but i mean i think that was just too soon if a man wants face to face and the next day you're asking him for money I mean, if you're into some kind of business, just tell him you're into some kind of business that he can understand that, okay, you need to pay for your time as well. But what can I say? Okay, so I'm going to give like a general thing, you know, men, 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 men. We are such easygoing individuals, you know, we, 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 we're we very simple, you know, it's not very complicated, you know, in, in what we look for. But one of the things that we, we actually like or want to feel, you know, is that physical attraction. Is very important isn't it that physical attraction is the first thing you see when you see uh, a lovely lady and say oh my gosh i think i want her but it's not all of it it's the initial thing 
But a lot of people, I know women do a lot of, you know, or put a lot of effort in, in trying to look amazing. Yes, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. But it's not just that as well. There are loads of things that men look out for as well. Because yes, you could have that physical attraction to draw him in. But what else is there? We have the sexual compatibility as well. It's very important as well. Because someone can be looking so amazing, but not sexually compatible. You know, that's one thing you need to figure out. But we men, we're not, you know, we're not too fast around that. But empathy. A woman that's got empathy, I think, is a yes, yes as well. Again, I'm going to be going into much more detail as well. I've got about 24 qualities. Yes, I said it, 24 qualities. I've done my research a bit more, you know, by engaging other men as well, you know, to have their point of view uh, on what they actually look for in a woman. So I'll be going through that list. So as I said, uh, women, listen to me this evening. Make sure you have your pen and paper. And if you have a friend and a friend, to make sure you do tell a friend to tell a friend that double nine is about to spill the beans on what men look for, look out for in a woman. Emotional connection is one other thing that men look out for yes we might say men are not very emotional but we love that emotional connection because we you know we're all emotion, emotional beings aren't we you know yes women much more will display the emotions but we do like that emotional connection that yes we have someone we call special we have someone we can call our own as well so i mean i gave you a brief overview of their physical attraction sexual compatibility empathy emotional connection is very important out there as well now Let's break it down. Let's break it down and look further into what we think, you know, men look out for in a woman they're planning to maybe have a relationship with, set it down with, or even, you know, some, create something special with. One of the things that most men said to me was the lady or the woman should be family or friend orientated. You know, I, I would agree. Again, but the thing that here is, you know, sometimes we can't really justify that, not, not justify, we can't really put that as, as a, um, you know, a deal breaker if, if a woman is not family orientated because maybe she's not from, maybe, you know, maybe she, she came from a not so, you know, loving family or something, you know, so that there's, there's room for that. But if you're willing to, you know, be family orientated or, you know, you, you're, you're not chasing away his friends, you know, you're not chasing away his family you want to know his family and he he also wants to know your family kind of thing you know we, a man admires a woman who values both her family as well as his and in cases where the woman's family is not you know maybe um up to a certain standard well i would say where maybe she's, she's falling out with some of her family members is it's understandable the, the, the willingness of that lady to want to um you know, know his family. It's 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 a plus uh, as well. I'm not saying this is the first thing that ladies you should try and do as well. Men like to take it easy on trying to introduce you to their family, but when a man introduces you uh, to his family uh, as well, it's a it's a good a good sign that maybe you might be the one uh, as well. But again, as I said, no one should be judged or punished for coming from a family that may be abusive or up to par uh, in a certain way. So one of the points that a lot of men raises. She's family orientated and friend orientated because men, most of us have, you know, um, friends, isn't it? We, we, we like to keep friends. We like to keep, uh, you know, um, people around us. So if we have a woman who's not so friend orientated, uh, that could be, uh, you know, like, oh my gosh, you know, I like my friends, you know what I mean? But, and she's not very, you know, enga not engaging, but not very accommodating uh, with, you know, uh, your friend, the man's friends can be, you uh, not over such a good thing so one of the things was family orientation and friend orientation very important uh, to a man as well and also you know all the men also said she has to be charming what do we mean by charming a woman is charming and can make others smile I'm not telling you to stop you know making yourself uh, like a clown no you can make others smile you have the, you have the grace and charm to get out out of uh, uncomfortable situations you know you're not so bossy you're not so like in your face type of thing you know you know what i mean it's it's way better than being catty or mean you know the, the, them ones are like you know feel like they're, they're like beavers and something you know it's it's, it's not good i don't think i don't think it's a good sign it's not, it's not a good look but charm and grace draws men to women you know she's charming she's you know, has this lovely smile 
you know, and also charming. Is, you know, and imagine you've had a fight with your your supposed man or boyfriend or something, and you're uh, and you're charming naturally. It's easier for you to like, you know, resolve that because your charm can work well after a fight or or disagreement, because that's natural, you know, for you. And everybody loves a charming woman. I I mean. I love I love women smiling, not the ones like you know screw face, not you know having that conversation. Do you know what I mean? You know, I, I, as I said, the phone lines are open. I am really really open to um, getting feedback from you, uh, lovely listeners today. I can already see some people uh, you know giving me a thumbs up on the on the points I'm raising as well. Yes, charming is one of those things that men said. Yes, yeah, this is what we look out for as well. I mean, charming and kind hearted. I would say the both in the same. Um, you know, type of category. Men love women who are thoughtful, caring, loving, and kind. A woman who's who does little things for a man for no other reason other than that she loves him. You know, those little things. It's not you know, we don't have to do. You don't have to go out there and buy him a car or nothing. You know, those those little things, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Little things. What well, you just cook him dinner without him asking. You know, give him a back rub and say, "Oh my God, babe, you know you're right." Give him a back rub and all of that. Do you know what I mean? That's lovely. That's lovely, you know what I mean? A woman who who radiates love and warmth from her heart is, you know, you're kind-hearted. You're not, you know, so mean, you know. Because now, I look at it, I look at social media, and you know, we talk about this things around, you know, feminism and all of that. No, I'm not saying anything wrong with feminism as well. We're gonna go go to that uh, as well, but it it's I sometimes I think it's misconstrued. To be where you're, you're mean to people, you're, you're like bossy because you think, yes, I'm on top of the world, no one can do nothing to me. But I don't think that's a good look. So charming and kind-heartedness is a way that men will look and say, you know what, that's it. She's kind-hearted. Again, what else? She's intellectually challenging. This is very key. Again, do you know what? With this, you know, again, I said, you know what, I spoke to a group of people, a group of men. Uh, from different walks of life to just understand what the, you know, what they look out for in women. Intellectually challenging. Yes, not every woman. Yeah, right. Not every woman um, is going to have that type of, shall I say, uh, or level of intellectual, or intellectual level that anyone's looking, you know, any man is looking at. But I think it's also relative because if if we say um, a, a woman or a lady has to be uh, intellectually challenging the man as well should be that as well isn't it so it, there's a balance in between so again that's that's a relative uh you know kind of a you know character uh, there as well so because we talk i talked initially uh, at first that you know uh, the first thing that men look at is that physical attraction that draws them in isn't it you know you have that physical attraction uh there then when you have that conversation you know, and 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 the and the conversation lacks a bit of intrigue or depth. You know, people often feel it's 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 emotionless, isn't it? You know, and, and you know, it just evolves because sometimes because that's intellectual stimulation, and sometimes even even some men who may be not as highly uh, intellectual as they would like to be, and come across a woman who's um, really intellectually challenging, it, it stimulates the conversation, in it. Do you know what I mean? Because I think a lot of men um, have uh, this this um, should, should I call it uh, mental attraction type thing after the physical attraction. So I think that the difference is you have someone because men 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 can be um, weird sometimes. You know, you can have this physical you can physically be attracted to this woman, and the only thing you want is just physical. That that's it. You just want that physical attraction and nothing beyond that. But you have the conversation with the lady. After the conversation, it's more like, oh my gosh, she's amazing. She's very intellectually challenging. You want to keep her around you all the time. But if it's just the physical part of it, it's almost like, okay, you know, that's that's all I want. Do you know what I mean? So, again, it's relative. It's not every woman that's going to be highly intellectually challenging. But at least try and have, you know, a conversation is very key as well. It keeps the man in check. It keeps him like, oh my gosh, you know, this is someone who can give me, you know, something more meaningful apart from the, the, the physical nature of a um, of a relationship as well. It's very important. Very important. Ambitious. A woman who is ambitious is very important as well. You know, 
in addition, you know, it, it is, you know, a woman who is supportive, you know, but also we, we, we want someone, you know, sorry, I shouldn't say we, men, 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 men want someone who can support them in their dream. So with this one here now, with this, with this option I'm putting forward, I'm going to be very uh, balanced in this because we can't, we cannot have an ambitious woman uh, trying to engage a man who lacks ambition. Okay. So let's just balance that out as well. So a man can, can, can want an ambitious woman, but if you lack ambition, you have no, you know, business engaging a woman who has ambition. So let's just, let's just make that clear there. Okay. So an ambitious, mature woman, uh, is someone a guy can take to the world, you know, take on the world with, because your ambition, you know, you're very ambitious. You, you know, you're, you're ready because he's ambitious as well. You match each other, each other with energy and you want to take over the world as well. So that's one thing women, men look out for uh, as well. You know, another thing that ambitious is very important there. Again, as, as I also mentioned, you can be, you, you, you could be a man who's looking for an ambitious woman, but also match her energy, making sure that you also do not lack the ambition as well. And also you're not going to feel intimidated when that ambition comes through as well so men are attracted to women to women who challenge their thoughts stare their emotions in a positive way and give them a run for their money again a very thin line there you don't want to be too cocky do you know what i mean when you're dealing with your man as well show your ambition what is his own ambition as well can you work together and then harness the energy to come together and be a force to reckon with as well i think that is such an amazing thing consistency is another thing being consistent is amazing it lets your other, per, you know, because when a woman is consistent, you know, not predictable, but consistent. Because pred predictable can be boring, you know, but she's consistent. She's like, she knows, you know, they know who you are. They know what you, what you say, you know, they know how you would um, react to certain situations, you know, in a way, it, it, you know, it, it lets a guy know that you're not putting it on a fake persona. Because there's a lot of fakeness out there now, isn't there? There's a lot of fakeness. You, you, you know, oh my gosh, I had a story. I'm not deviating. I'm just going to tell this story quickly. So the, there was a story of a lady uh, who met a guy. And she put on this persona of, you know, she, she's really poor. She, um, you know, she likes to go out to fancy restaurants. Um, you know, she likes to eat this type of food, that type of food. And the guy, the guy is polished. He's a polished guy. He, he likes to go out. You know, he likes fine dining as well. And he thought, okay, wow, you know, she he seems to um, like what he hears from this girl. You know, she was showing a bit of a, you know, um, ambition towards you, you know, towards him as well. And they finally went on a date. And believe you me, I kid you not, he said the lady did not know how to use a fork or knife. I mean, that that's just insane. So again, when you're trying to put on a fake persona understand that you have to be consistent with that and know exactly what you're doing but my advice is abandon the fake persona you know do not do it it's not right it's not nice at all it's not nice you know um just be you just be you as well so consistency is good consistency in being you not being a fake person because you put on something today and the other day is something different you put on something is something different today is you know I mean? there's no there's no saying that yes this is my girl so it is very key that we put that into context as well you know consistency is very very key okay moving on to some point guys i told you it's quite a long list as well um empathy i mentioned this earlier as well that you know uh, in in the in the general term you know empathy is very key empathy and understanding because now we have a lot of women out there who say, um, if you can't do this for me, if you can't do that for you, um, I'm not staying there. If you can't afford it, don't buy it, blah, 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 blah. But the thing is, yes, we, we, we understand what you're saying. Obviously, you don't want to put yourself in a um, you know, situation where you're unhappy. You're not saying that. But if you've been with a guy who he's, he's been doing quite well in the past, um, and something, you know, happens, maybe a bit of shaky ground, you know, but you know, you recognize the ambition in this guy, you know, that, you know, possibly is going to bounce back, but because of your, um, you know, should I say, uh, social credentials, you think, oh my gosh, you know, I can't be seen with this guy. Um, he's, you know, he's lost all of this now. 
you know, and you lack the empathy of understanding. Why would a guy want to be with you? Why would a guy want to be with you? And we can't we can tell that from 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 the start. Because if you're not supportive or compassionate and encouraging towards your man, you know, what, what is there to be, you know, why? Why would I want to be with you? Because sometimes women think, you know, the, the, the harder you play or the lack of empathy you show attracts a man. No. Maybe, maybe a man who just wants one thing. But a real person who wants to be with you wants someone who's, um, um, uh, um, you know, who shows empathy and understand it, I think, in my own perspective as well. This is my own, not, not just me, a couple of people I spoke with. So men want to be who, who women who support them in their endeavors in in the, or in the times of need as well. Because life, life is full of hardship and challenges. You know, any strong couple, and you want to, you want someone you can count on, isn't it? Where you can face, you know, strong challenges and say, you know what, you're going to come out stronger together as well it, it is very important men sometimes need a shoulder to cry on as well because we hear about men um why do we, i mean I, I i did a research as well apparently a lot of women uh not, not women sorry a lot of men actually commit suicide why because we the society has defined men as the masculine as the ones that they should carry air all the pressure shoulder everything but if they if there's no partner they can feel confident and to be able to confide in they're just going to carry all that load and all of a sudden you just want to, you know, end it all. So a man needs someone who's, you know, shows empathy and understand. It is very key. It is very key. And again, ladies, you can balance that out yourself. You can know when to be um, show that side or not. If it's the right person. Again, I'm going to be, you know, let's, 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 let's be real. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to say go out there and start showing empathy to someone you know is not, you know, really out there for you. But I'm just telling you. From a couple of men, different men I spoke to, this is one of the points that was raised. She has to be, you know, show some empathy and understanding as well. As I said, life can be had, and men definitely need a shoulder to cry on sometimes uh, as well. And I can't stress this other point. Uh, uh, you know, this other point I think is very important as well. She's willing to put the effort in as well, because we we always, you know, I know th 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 there's this thing about. Um, a man has to chase a woman. Yes, we do. I'm going to actually go into that as well. Uh, hopefully, there's enough time before the end of the show. Yes, we do uh, like to chase as well. But a woman has to put a bit of effort in as well to, to let you know that, okay, your chase is not just in vain. Um, it's, it's very, and it's very important also when you're now in a relationship as well to be given in a relationship, not just take, take, take. You know, it has to be true both ways. Not a lot. A woman can show that she's equally invested in a relationship by doing something simple. You know, slipping the waiter a credit card when you go out. Because, oh, because now what we hear is, you know, he's taking me out, he's paying. Who should pay? Why should I pay? And again, because they say, and, and the things like women say, oh, if you can't pay, that means it's broke. No. What are you doing? Are you building something with this man? Or are you out there just, um, it, you know, hanging it out there for everyone to, you know, take their own piece or something. Do you know what I mean? When are you going to start saying, you know what, I want to start building something with someone? Yes, it's good for a man to take you out and enjoy. But if you're in a relationship with someone, when do you take him out? Do you ever spend your money on him or something? I mean, it's rare. I'm not, I'm not come across that, but I've heard that on, so, again, on social media. Oh, apologies. I think we had a missed call. Please do call back. Uh, apologies on that, that we missed that call. Uh, do call back again uh, when you uh, uh, can call back. Sorry, I do apologize on that. We didn't get that through, coming through. So, yes, it is very important uh, that she's willing to put the effort in as well. Do you know what I mean? It is very important because especially when you want a long-term uh, relationship, you know, it shouldn't be just one-way traffic. You know, uh, a woman has to be equal invest in, in, in the relationship and also emotionally wise as well. You know, show, you know, don't wait for your man to show all the emotion all the time. Show some emotion towards him as well. It is very important as well. We love to, we, we love to be loved. We, you know, men love to be loved. And, you know, and we love a woman who show cares. Will she, you know, will show she cares about keeping the guy she loves around him as well. A uh, lot around her as well, I should say. 
Do you know what I mean? It is very important. I couldn't stress it again. It's very important to show each other your appreciation as well. You know, also, a guy's done something for you. Show appreciation. Don't be like a diva. All right, yeah, he's meant to do it. It's fine. It's his role to do it. No, I don't think so as well. Okay. This, for me, was a bit of a controversial one. You know, she holds similar values as him. That's what we look for. I know. It's a bit controversial, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Because some some women might have grown up with different values. Yes, we understand that. Some uh, some of us, we grow and we change our values. But we have the core values. So that's where the controversy stops That You have the core values which you keep, you know. Again, as I mentioned, our value system often stems from our upbringing, isn't it? You know, what our parents thought was as we grew up uh, and also things we find and don't find important as well. All these things, you know, tend to shape what our values are. But the core values always remain the same. You know, the things we believe in the, or things we don't, uh, the things we treat each other, uh, you know, how we treat each other as well is very important. But it doesn't matter. I, this is one key thing. You know, if, if for me, I think, because a, a lot of guys actually... Um, mention this and said that it doesn't really matter how attractive they are to that person. If their values don't align with theirs, um, they'll always be satisfied in, in the long term. You can try and mend it on, mend it on, you know, eventually it's like putting a plaster on a, on, a, on a, you know, broken brick or something. It will eventually fall off. So the thing is, again, as I said, it's a bit controversial. How do you, how do you, Make sure you share the same values. You can't. But the core values maybe can be the same. But if you're flexible and think, okay, yes, it will work for you. This is very important. Again, you know, remember I mentioned do not be fake. Be consistent. Because if you're fake because you want to show the same value as him or pretend you're not, you know, you're on the same wavelength as him, that could be a problem. So consistency is very key. So this number nine, I think, can be quite controversial there. I don't know. You know, because again, as I mentioned. We learn our value system is, is, is often developed or from our upbringing, you know, from our parents, you know, what are those core values as well? It is very important. Now, number 10, sociable and friendly. What is sociable and friendly? Sociable doesn't mean you're on social media 24-7, posting all your life on social media. Oh, look at me. I've just eaten something. Oh, look at me. I've just flown to uh, here. Oh, look at me. Oh, my baby just bought me this. Oh, look at me. I've just um, got out of the shower. Oh, look at me. I've just bought a fake look. <laughs> Obviously, you don't say it's fake. But social media just kind of changed the narrative, isn't it? But I think, yes, a man could see you. Sometimes, you know, we, we meet people in different, different you know, ways, isn't it? Social media is one of the ways. And I've often heard women say, why would a man want to change me if he met me uh, this way? I don't have the answer to that, but I would say if you're on social media and you post a certain things because, you know, that was you, this is you, you, you know, in, in some ways you, you're doing that because you're single, you're post, you're, you're wearing some certain um, outfits or doing some certain things, your business is all out there because you're single. In a way, sometimes social media postings is a, is a form of self-advertising. Let's call it, let's call it whatever. I, I tag it as that. It's a form of self-advertising sometimes. And yes, now you, you got a man and he says, you know, uh, you know, tone it down a bit. Do you know what I mean? Tone it down a bit. And this is someone who's thinking, all right, I want to build something with you. But you're defensive about it. In a way, it just it sends the wrong signals. I think the discussion of what, why you do it is important. If it's for monetary terms, like you're making money from it, then yeah, maybe you can have a discussion. But if it's just not monetary and it just was fun, it's like, why are you still self-advertising yourself if you're in a relationship? It's either you're happy in that relationship or not happy in that relationship. You know what I mean? You know, we, we, although we do enjoy being social and also like, you know, having our partner by our side, like we go out somewhere, you know, and, you know, we, we, we with our friends, you know, we have our lady there as well. We, we're hanging out together in a bar and a restaurant. Yes, we love that as well. But don't put everything on social media. Some things are for, you know, you and your man, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You and your man as well. And the friendly part of, about it is, Give an example, you know, paint a scenario. You, you and your partner have gone out for maybe a meal in a lovely restaurant. And, you know, he's a um, friend or something. Maybe female friend or, or male friend with his girlfriend. You know, walk up and, and say hello. But you're so cold. 
asking to say hello to them because you think you're a diva. You think, oh my gosh, I'm a diva. I can't be saying hello to everyone. That's a really not a good thing, you know. Do you know what I mean? You know, we don't want to be worried about your attitude, our girlfriend's attitude um, that you're going to give a friend. Or we don't want to be saying to oh, oh, that's my friend. You know, be nice to be nice. No, we don't want to be doing that. We don't want to be doing that. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, 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 it's such a turn off, you know. We don't want to be doing that. Do you know what I mean? So, again, so sociable and friendly is a very key thing there as well. Sense of humor. Sense of humor. It is important. Don't do fake laugh, though. Because a lot of women would try and laugh to fake, you know, to not so funny jokes, I should say. Um, it it's um, it is a priority in a way. You know, one time that we can you can relax around, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You got a sense of humor. You're a bit funny. You're not you're not too serious. You know what I mean? Because we men do a lot of serious thinking. We do a lot of seriousness. Trust me. A lot of seriousness goes behind what we do. As I mentioned earlier before, a lot of seriousness happens, you know. So I think uh, a sense of humor is very important as well. Thank you, um, Esther, there for saying yes, you agree with me on all the points I've made so far. You know, I mean, it is. We like we like sense of humor, but we don't like a clown. Let's just say it out there. You don't like a clown? It's not a clown, but you're just funny. You're not trying to put it off. You know, on or something, you have a sense of humor. It's very, it's a very important thing as well. And one thing I would say, it is important that a couple, boyfriend, girlfriend, or whatever, you know, you have this playful times, you have this joke times with one another. It's not just always this rigid uh, type of engagement. Like, oh my god, you can't really joke, you can't really say anything. You're going to take us too seriously. I think, um, you know, it's it's a no no. It's a no no as well. Reliability. She is reliable. She says what she means and she does what she says. I think I'll just leave that as that. Because if you're not reliable, why am I going to want to build something with you? Uh-huh. Why? Yes, ladies. Why am I want to why do I want to build anything with you? It's a it's important. Do you know what I mean? It is important. You say to me, I'm gonna pick you up at eight o'clock. Okay, yes, ladies like, you know, being late. But the worst thing you can say is, or do, I should say. I'll give you a hint now. I'm just going to move on from that from this point quickly. You have a dinner date at 8 p.m. Your man has said he's going to pick you up at 7 because it's going to take 45 minutes to get to the table, uh, to the restaurant because of the table reservation. But he gets to you at 10 minutes to 7, hoping that by 10, 7 p.m. you'll be out there downstairs, get ready to go. But no, you delay till half seven and you go to the you get to the restaurant and you still have to start doing some explaining please get let let that let that attitude change honestly let that attitude change it's not it's not a good look honestly it's not a good look yes you want to keep you know you want to do this fashionable lay thing and uh, you know put some diviness into it but you know maintain the diviness do you know what i mean it's not you're trying to build something with this person you know so i i for me or for the guys that said, you know, it's a no-no as well. Affectionate and loving. This should be number one, I think. This should have been number one. You are affectionate and loving. What is affectionate? Affectionate is not a pretense. It's not when you want something. It's not when you want something. Yes, ladies. It's not when you want something. It's not when I when I need something. It's not when I want to buy something. It's not when you, you know, want something done. That you become affectionate. That's that saying all those sweet words and doing all those sweet things and you know making some you know hugging and holding it should be a norm it should be a normal thing affection is important in a relationship it should be all the time because you know but now we got ladies out there doing things when they want something but you know what affection and loving it's a form of connection isn't it it's a form of connection and and um, and i'll tell you it's one of the easiest ways to have your man not smothering type of affection not that you're trying to smother him you know but it's it, it, it's something that is there it's just it's like a second nature thing it's 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 there for him you know it's not something like he's he's going to going to look for you know you, you you've not possibly you you guys are mean up or something he's not asking for a hug you go and you reach out for a hug you you know kind of peck on him or something do you know what i mean 
Ladies, you know, you have this power. Use it wisely. Affection and loving is very key as well. Again, this one, respectful. I think this, this one is, it's, 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 uh, it's banishing. Because I think ladies now think to suspect is a way of looking sexy or looking good. If you're one of those, please, I don't think, it will take a while for you to find a man. It will take a while for you to find a man. If you're thinking that, being disrespectful, you know, trying to put on this diva thing. Oh my God, I, I don't eat that. Oh my God, why did he serve me like that? Just, you know, you go out to a restaurant and you're also, you know, mean to the waiters. I don't make women complain about men being mean to the waiters, but women do it as well, isn't it? Or you, you, you say, you know, very derogatory uh, things about people. But also within a relationship, you know, a, a fundamental aspect of a healthy relationship is mutual respect. M keyword, mutual respect. Men, all, men look at respect as love. Yeah? I say that again. Respect in, for, in most men's minds it equates love. Respect a man, he's going to think, you know what, she loves me. Because that respect is what? It's natural. He's going to respect you back. He's going to, he's going to be respect you back because it's going to be easy. But if you struggle to respect each other, it's, um, it might be over. It might, just, it might be over because that's it. Men love women who actually listen and respond to them. Because it's a form of respect, isn't it? Yes, sometimes you might disagree with some certain points, but there are ways, you know, to have a conversation. We, are, we are, you know, men are actually wary of women who let them down, embarrass them, or make a fool out of them, especially in public, because women sometimes, you know, they'll shout at you because they want to make a scene, thinking like, yes, I'm a woman, yeah. You are, what? Do you know what I mean? No, mate. No. Respect is very important. Make a love full of your man is a no-no. Embarrassing them. Letting them down. Because what? You want to be like a diva. You want to be like, ah, oh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm up here kind of thing. Yeah, huh, sweetie. You're going to remain single for a long time, mate. Keep riding that horse. You're riding to the sunset. You know. But again, you know, the key word here is mutual. It has to be mutual. A man, I'm talking to you as well. It has to be mutual. Because men said, you know what? Respect is a very important thing. You know, constructive criticism is, is, is okay, but done in a respectful way. This is what I mean if you have a point that you disagree with or you have something that he's doing that you're not really in agreement with, it can be done respectfully and actually makes it amazingly, wonderfully received by the man. Do you know what I mean? It's very important. And I think respect and, and being supportive actually goes hand in hand. It goes hand in hand as well. You know what I mean? I think it's just amazing. It is amazing. You know. So, ladies, I think it's, it's a lot. We're going to continue right after the break. Stay locked on, stay locked in. It's a host, Dob and I. Here on Dob and I, ready. Spin 35 and social. Always amazing to have you. I'll be right back on the other side. This is Dob and I Radio. The best online radio. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's Dob and I Radio. It's 1850-1103-2023. Oh, my gosh. Where has the time gone? Oh, my word. We know what they say. We're having a good time. Time goes quickly, doesn't it? I mean, we're talking about what men look out for in women. I want to say a big thank you to everyone who's tuned in this evening. It's always amazing to have you on the show. As you know, the show is always interactive. It's 074-956-3689. That's 074-956-3689. I mean, we've gone through quite a number of points. I think we've gone through about 15 points, uh, actually. And you know what? We might have to do a second part of this as well. I want to say a big thank you to everyone who's been uh, sending me um, messages as well, saying that yes, they they agree uh, with the points uh, having uh, been raised on here. And um, yeah, I want to say thank you, thank you to all my uh, wonderful um, listeners uh, as well. Thank you for encouraging uh, that as well. Hopefully, uh, we can change some mindsets of women and get some women into some amazing relationships as well so i mean uh, as i said we're still going to do a part on the other side of what women uh, do want uh, or look out for in men as well so we can get the men on the straight and narrow as well so i'm, I'm going to do a recap because you know time is far spent as well and, and we will do a continuation part on this one as well so first one we said what well, you know she has she's family and friend orientated as well as i mentioned earlier well 
uh, Elliot, not everyone, you know, has come from an amazing family. But again, she shows a bit of interest in trying to know your family. And likewise, you're showing interest as a man trying to know her family as well. And also family, you know, friends as well. She's not chasing away uh, your friends. She wants to get to know them as well. I mean, the good ones, though, you know, that's why, yeah, the good ones. She's charming. You know, if a one, again, if a one is charming and she makes others smile, trust me, men go crazy for that as well. Because everybody loves a charming woman as well. She's kind hearted, important as well. Kind hearted as well. She'll be of kindness, you know, a bit of care. Because you know what? If it's a woman you want to be with, she's going to be having your kids someday, isn't it? You know, and this is the kind of uh, characteristics you want your children uh, to have uh, as well as in a Do you know what I mean? So if a woman is kind hearted, that's a plus. This is intellectually challenging. I did say this is a bit of a controversial one as well because it can be quite relative because sometimes even men cannot be really intellectually challenging. But again, a, a man coming across a woman who is intellectually challenging is a big turn on for a man because he's like oh my gosh you know i'm so proud i'll be so proud to show her to my friends i'll be so proud to take her to my work dues as well you know uh, and likewise as well again so but as i mentioned if you're a man and you're you know not so intellectually challenging you know be ready to not uh, not to be too blown away but again men love that in women because you know what they think you know what it's just be it's beyond the physical in it it's not just a physical alone but they can have a long-lasting conversation that, that you know that would lack a bit of you know conversation that would not lack intrigue or depth you know what i mean you get in-depth conversations in there again she's ambitious she's ambitious like you know she's got a bit of ambition and also the ambition matches the drive of the man as well again some and as i mentioned as well if you're ambitious as a woman um, it can be quite difficult to engage a man who's not ambitious. So, you know, do have that at the back of your mind. So a, a, a man who, who lacks ambition, I don't think there's any room for you uh, going after a woman who's got some ambition because all you do is going to pull her down as well. But the, the guys who like the ambitious woman, because an ambitious woman, a mature woman is, so, it, 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 is someone a guy can take to the world and say, look at my woman. She's so ambitious because she supports me in my dream as well she's consistent as well as another point we raise as well because if you put on a fake persona put on a facade it can be quite difficult to maintain that as well because you might lose guard as they would say and uh, the realness will come out i gave an example of that individual who went to a fancy restaurant but could not comfortably use a fork and knife how sad so allow the fakeness and keep the facade away because your consistency is very key uh, to guys as well. It is very important as well. Empathy and understanding. Again, as I mentioned, men also want a shoulder to cry on. But if you're showing any, no lack, if you're not showing any empathy towards your man or even understanding towards your man, you, you're just setting him up to go find another woman who's going to listen and uh, give him a shoulder to cry on as well. So empathy and understanding is very key uh, as well, as you know, as the men said as well they need that they need that person because as i met as i mentioned life can be hard men have been you know put on a should i say category of uh, strong people who shoulder all this you know hard things uh, within the society and they have to just live up to it as well but sometimes men again uh, need a shoulder to cry on. can you be that shoulder to cry on for your man can you show that understanding for him as well or he might just go out there and find the person who's ready to listen and give him that shoulder to cry on. And also, you're willing. The lady's willing to put the effort in. You know, she's willing to put the effort in into that relationship. It's not just like waiting for your man to do all of the loving. The way for your man to show all the love. You know what I mean? You're there. Or you're taking him out as well. You know, it's not just your man taking you out all the time. You know, you surprisingly say, you know what? I'm, I'm taking care of the bill today. Do you know what I mean? You know, yes, I know. Lady's going to say to me, I want my man to spoil me. See all this social media madness. Oh my man to spoil me. Oh my man to do this. No one is saying she don't spoil you, but do you spoil your man too? He is human. He wants to be spoiled as well. Do you do the same as well? So it is important you do that as well. A man that can show, I'm uh, sorry, a woman that can show that uh, that she's equally invested in a relationship by doing some simple things is very, very important as well. Putting that effort in to make sure uh, the guy is aware of what you're doing. She holds the similar values. Again, I said this was a bit controversial as well, 
because as i mentioned our value system is from our upbringing isn't it it's about upbringing because what our parents have thought us uh, what we learned all over the years while we're growing up so sometimes it can be quite hard uh, to put away so again as i mentioned as well the consistency here is very key you don't want to be in a position where you know what I mean? you are putting on the facade you have the discussions understand like whether you can align with his values or vice versa can he align with yours as well have the discussion because if you don't align on long term it's just going to be a, a disaster uh, as well sociable and friendly again not social media social media can be i'm not saying there's anything wrong with social media are you doing it for monetary terms or are you just doing it as a show off i don't know it's your choice sociable and friendly is one of the things that we said again is introducing to you to your uh, to his friends or taking to your workplace uh event how are you going to be he's going to be worried oh my gosh he's going to be unfriendly with them as well so that's very key as well you're funny and have a sense of humor you're not a clown your funny is different from being a clown and you have a sense of humor because it's important for a couple to have playful moments and jokes around them because you know what it brings them closer so have you are you are you that's you know are you funny have you got a sense of humor it's very important uh, important as well and also there's another point she's reliable as i said she does what she says and she you know do as she says what well, you know that saying either say you know she means what she says and she does what she says it is very important it is very important she's reliable you can count on her we say we're going to dinner at eight o'clock i'm saying to you i'm going to pick you up at seven okay we give you a bit of uh, leeway you're ready by 705 710 not 730 you know that doesn't work do you know what i mean it doesn't work she's reliable it's very very important uh, as well okay she's affectionate and loving again this is very key isn't it? because we you know going back to the point of men leading the shoulder to cry out if you're not affectionate how are you going to give him those hogs those you know being affectionate around him how are you going to give him all of that as well it is it is very 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 important as well to to be able to do that it, it is very important you know what i mean so being affectionate is very key uh to him as well so um again it, you don't have to wait uh till when he asks you do it unexpectedly trust me i just gave you guys a key there i'm gonna whisper it do it when he doesn't expect it do you know what I mean? give him that back rub give him that kiss you know and do do when he's not even expecting you know do you know what i mean make it special for him as well it's very important as well and also this one very respectful very respectful again respect has to be mutual not saying it has to be one way it has to be mutual that you both respect each other and say you know what babe we are both respect each other and also the, the, the worst thing women do you know do or does have uh, done in the past is you know having a shouting match in public you know causing an embarrassment to your man making a fool out of him uh, as well you know and also possibly let him down um it's not very it's not very good isn't it do you know what i mean the ways to do that is have you know have a constructive conversation and you know we talk about the, the the term constructive criticism you know coming from a good place like you know maybe this can be done in a different way do you know what i mean respectful is very important and the last one we mentioned was um she's being supportive you know it's is I can't, I can't stress that enough. A relationship, can't prize, a relationship comprises of two individuals who have their own dreams. Yes, we understand that. You have your own dreams and desires and goals. And it's, it is very important that, you know, both members of the relationship support each other, support each other's goals, support each other's dreams and desires. Because you know what? They can both thrive together. You know, having a partner that supports and encourages and helps a man believe in himself can actually enable him to overcome loads of obstacles and push him through all his insecurities and self-doubt. You, as a woman, can do that. I mean, those are 15 points. I've got more points, but you know what? Time is really far spent, isn't it? We have to do a second part of this one. Do I hear my lady saying, yes, I see a message is coming through. Yes, 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 you can uh, as well. Do you know what I mean? Yes, yes, we know we want to do a second part as well. Do you know what I mean? But what can we say? I hope, I hope we have been uh, very uh, very helpful all oh, oh it's been a good discussion i hope as well because you know what we had a program say you know asking why are you single 
this could be one of the things because social media has just changed the mindset of all of us. You know, a lot of people has changed the mindset of a lot of individuals out there and they follow social media but never discover their own true self on you know certain things as well. I hope we've been able to uh, shed some light. As I mentioned as well, we're going to be doing a part where we talk about uh, what women look out for uh, in men as well. And also hopefully we can finish off um, in the other points regarding what men look out for in uh, in women. Hopefully we've been able to cover quite a number of things uh, this evening. As I mentioned, um, it's always great to have you wonderful listeners here on the show. But well, in the meantime, stay locked on, stay locked in. Uh, I shall be back again after this break. Just like our faces are different and our thoughts are different, men want different things. Yes. And there are some men that will tell you that they want to marry someone who is very good in bed. You understand? Some men have gone ahead to marry um, commercial sex workers because they want someone who is um, a dynamite in bed. Yes. So sex comes first for them. Okay. Yes, for some men. Mm-hmm. So, and they will go all the way to get what they want. Yes. Yes. They don't want someone that will say I'm tired or anything because those ladies are like, you know, machinery, quote and unquote. Okay. So some people want someone who is financially stable. They don't want a liability. You know, financial security comes first for some. They want someone who is working, in, not just working and earning a salary, earning a good salary, as an attractive salary, someone that can, you know, maintain her car, who probably has property and everything, you know, it increases the person's rating in their eyes. Some men don't care. Yes. You know, so there are some men that will just marry a lady. Can we even go to the village and go and marry a pack of Yeah. You know, and say, I want someone who is innocent and bring her to the city, you know, and to, to kind, kind of try to push her up and send her to school and all of that. That happens as well. Yes. But there are some men that financial stress is very, very important. They want, you must, you know, you must be earning well. Yes. And I think some men like again that would really want a man is a woman is someone who is who is generous. Some men look want to marry someone who who knows how to give, who is a giver. Mm. There was a guy that a guy that was in a relationship so was a and a, a colleague that was telling me about his friend who was in a relationship and broke up with the lady. They were actually headed to the altar. They were so close that ah, everybody was like, ah, this thing is in the stars. You understand? Yeah. Uh, definitely to marry, what kind of a thing. But the guy broke up with her just like that. Even after both families have known each other, it was like that she'd never support him financially. Amazing. Maybe he wants to buy something. He's never like, okay, let me support you. Okay, what do you want to buy? Okay, this stuff. Ah, and maybe he's like indirectly telling her, ah, hey, I don't have enough money. That uh, You know, that kind of a thing. And she yes. never supports. He said she will insist on get something even more expensive. Quality is important, but she will never put the dime down. Amazing. You understand? So he broke up with her. That was the only reason he broke up. He said, no, 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 you need someone that will support him. Exactly. You know, at yes. this stage, I broke up with her, married somebody else. Amazing. Okay. Amazing. For some other people, yeah, some other people, is the person must have a fantastic ego. Mm. There's some men that like, what their friends tell them is paramount. And what my friends say, mm. they are getting my son, they say, what my friends say, this one cannot speak well, you know, mm. she's not too <clears throat> quote and unquote. Yeah. She's not refined. I look at her figure, by the way, she doesn't have an hourglass figure. Mm. What my friends say, I should bring this one. This one is so, you understand, some people, they are, they appear, they, well, they say the, men the, are attracted actually to yeah. what they see. Yes. But some people are like, they very finicky about what they see. Yes. It was the hourglass. I hope she doesn't have a tummy. I hear you. you. Understand? I did tell someone before that was telling me, I cannot marry someone who has a big tummy. Who, that imagine. kind of a thing. It's not so for him. Imagine you understand? That. So different men with, yes. yes. Just like some men who want someone who is on the big side. Someone who wants someone who is very slim. You understand? Everything is, you know, understand? Yes. She, looks, she looks fine. She dresses well. She speaks well. Yes. She's intelligent. Some people who don't want a wife that you, are, you cannot converse with her. You cannot even discuss football with her. You can't discuss current affairs with her. Exactly. One day I say, ah, and you're like, maybe watching you know, a football match. I say, hey, you know, know. who play? I know. And, I mean, and I, it's like, you have side play. Yes. Yeah, so like, I mean, you, you made... You have a side. You made amazing points because... Uh, these are the points we've, we've raised. You, you talk about, just your last point now, uh, a woman who is not able to have conversations with a partner. We talked about, you know, yeah. inte- intele- you know, intellectually challenging, you know, someone who can come out and have a conversation yeah. 
as well. You talk about the respect that the, 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 yeah. the man wants to go to the village and find someone. It's because of the respect he does that. You talk about the woman who is not supporting uh -huh. the, 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 the friend you mentioned who broke up with a, uh, a, a man because, or broke up with a woman because she couldn't be supported. Someone who is not supported, who is not understanding yeah. as well. So, I mean, you're, you're quite uh -huh. right. You're quite right because it, it is out there that's happening. But sometimes some of these points that we raise as well, as I mentioned earlier, it is a cross section of of, of, of men that put this uh, you know list together. It's not exhaustive, but some people would would take would would take five out of the points and say this is the main five. Some people would say you know what, it's just the two points is enough for me. And some would say all the points is what I want to achieve. But, yeah. it's, but the thing is, it's good uh -huh. It's good for our, our wonderful uh, ladies like yourself out there to understand, you know what, uh, this is what uh, uh, the things that men look out for in, in women. I mean, I want to say thank uh -huh. you for, for calling in this evening. It's always amazing to have you, you know, listening yeah, and, and, and giving yeah. your insight into this. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Bye. I mean, again, ladies and gentlemen, I think that, that was an amazing call. I mean, it just, it just justifies everything we've just shared on the show this evening. You know, she gave different examples some different perspectives as well. She talked about the, the man who broke up with uh, his woman just because of one thing, because she showed, uh, uh, you know, no support towards him or understanding. There was no empathy uh, towards him. And he, he, he didn't want to deal with that uh, as well. She talked about the woman, you know, who could have a conversation about football. Not saying football was intellectually challenging, but, you know, maybe that's what that guy wanted. And he couldn't find that in there. Again, in a way, it helps the ladies as well. Because if you see what I'm saying, it helps the ladies to understand, okay, maybe your values are not aligned. Or maybe you're not on the same intellect level. Or are you willing to, you know, to bridge that gap of that, you know, intellectual, you know, engagement? Are you willing to build that, uh, bridge that gap? So again, but the thing is, it's good. It's a good point to understand some of these points as well. Because... People always say, oh, what do men want? We never know. We never know. But, you know, having a bit of insight, having a bit of information does help uh, as well. I want to say a big thank you to uh, Shilapay for calling in uh, this evening as well. And a big thank you to you. Yes, you, my amazing listeners as well, who always support this amazing channel. Make sure you do tell a friend to tell a friend about Dobbinar Radio. You know, let's get the family bigger and bigger as well. It's always amazing uh, to have loads of people get more information and get, you know, in, in, you know, in tune with with what's going on out there as well and get the right information and also contribute and share their points or share their experiences live on there because what it would educate someone out there as well again i want to say a big thank you for uh, to everyone who's tuning in this evening but as you know it's saturday we've got some amazing vibes coming your way here on domino already as you know always got the vibes and the flow of the great music as well i want to say a big thank you again but in the meantime stay locked on stay locked to catch us again on the next episode of that if I have a social, but keep up to date with information on this amazing platform by following us on Instagram as well to get the information you need. And also do check out our YouTube channel for every replay of programs uh, that we have had on the show as well. It's been one of us, your host, Dobbin I. It's been 35 and Social here on Dobbin Radio. Peace. I love you all. Stay locked on, stay locked in. More vibes come your way here on Dobbin Radio.